Welcome to Radio Storytime on CPL Radio. Today's theme is Beach Reads. Hi, I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. Old time radio reached its peak during a difficult time in American history. The Great Depression was hard for many Americans as they had to give up many things they enjoyed. Cars, new clothing, and even food items were sacrificed so families could have enough money for essential everyday items. One luxury that many homes did not give up was the radio. Families would give up other items just so they could keep their prized radios. Radio programming helped many cope with the sadness and struggles of the Depression. Programs such as comedies, mysteries, music, and more were a form of escape from everyday life. Today, a popular form of escape is a good book. Reading allows the imagination to take over and let the mind escape from everyday life, much like radio programs did during the Depression. Another popular escape from life's hardships is the beach. Each summer, many people flock to the beach to soak up the sun, splash in the water, and relax. Many may even take along a new book or a favorite story to read. Today, we are sharing some fun beach reads that will help you escape to a sunny place. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's selections. Our first story is It's a Seashell Day by Diane Ochatree, read by Mrs. K. It's a seashell day. When the sun peeks up over the bay, Mommy tells me, It's a seashell day. I rush down the path over the dune. Salty breeze blows. We'll be there soon. We reach the beach, hearing gulls flock. Is this a seashell? No, it's a rock. With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in the cool wet sand. A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave, so I can dig. Bumpy, lumpy shells out from the muck. Spiny, shiny shells. A penny for luck. My shell is tiny, a silvery pearl. Mommy's is brown with a big twirly curl. This shell is a home, Mommy tells me. Let's put it back to live in the sea. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says Mommy. What do you hear? I hear the ocean. I count shells. One, two, three, four. Each one different. I have many more. I count other shells. Five, six, seven, and eight. My shells are curvy, never straight. Two more shells, numbers nine and ten. When we get home, let's count them again. We're almost home. It's been a fun day. So many shells. I'll make a display. One, two, three, four, a pretend seashell store. Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. Nine and ten, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. Now a word from our sponsor. This is Miss Heidi from the Youth Services Department of CPL to tell you what's happening in the library. Summer reading is in full swing. If you haven't signed up, there's still time. If you already started the program, don't forget to check in midway for some great incentives and prizes. Summer reading ends July 31st. Now, here's Mrs. K with a reminder about a fun summer program. Thanks, Miss Heidi. There's still time to catch Miss Heidi and myself at Centennial Park in Cedarburg for story time. Join us on Mondays for stories, music, rhyme, and bubbles. No need to register. Check the events calendar on our website for more details. Now back to our program. Our second story is Scuba Bunnies by Christine Loomis, 
published by G.P. Putnam's Sons. Scuba bunnies long to see what's beneath the deep blue sea. Kiss their mamas, check their gear, tanks are filled, masks are clear. Watches working, wetsuits zipped, snorkels on, flippers flipped. Scuba bunnies, bold and brave, sink beneath a rolling wave. Poke and peek in secret places, peering into fishy faces. Floating, drifting, in the blue, bunny bunnies, two by two. Bunnies dive, bunnies dip, to a sunken pirate ship. Sharks are circling, hungry, slow. No treasure here, it's time to go. In a rush of rising bubbles, buddies swim away from troubles. Scuba bunnies, safe and sound, friendly dolphins gather round. Across the waves, upon the tide, bunnies on a dolphin ride. Past otter papas with their pups, octopus with suction cups. Whales who sing so sweet, so low, of moonlit seas of long ago. Past tortoises with great green shells, buoys clanging, mournful bells. Back again, the dolphins fly. New friends wave a sad goodbye. Scuba bunnies in a row do the backstroke. Home they go. Mama's welcome bunnies back. Hug them, dry them, fix a snack. Hold them curled up in their laps. Scuba bunnies take their naps. Waves come whispering from the deep. Bunnies answer in their sleep. Tune in next time when our theme will be Camping Tales. I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. See, See you, you next time. time. Cedarburg Public Library Radio.